Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we are checking out the new Jack Wolf Knives Vampire. Now, I did recently see that Stasa23 posted his video on it. He's got a really good looking one with the red carbon fiber, which I think might possibly be the best choice for this, considering the name is the vampire just kind of goes with it. And I noticed he beat me to the punch on getting a video up. Um, I think we get our knives right around the same exact time, and he beat me to the punch on getting the video up, uploaded to YouTube. So I made sure to go and uh, watch his video and drop him a little comment, you know, giving him the trophy. Because he did win it. And then I gave him um, some squinty eyes. You know, letting him know I'm watching him. <laughs> but uh, but I got this, what's it called? Um, Camo Carbon Pacific Blue, I think is the name of this fat carbon. And it does look gorgeous. It's got some really dark purples and bright blues that pop out. Almost like... Um, baby blues and then some some really dark uh blurples like where it's bluish purple i really love it the fit and finish on these are just absolutely insane first off i love all the jack wolf knives um they they're all unique in their own way they're the the quality and fit and finish and tolerances and just everything is just it's 10 you know 10 out of 10 good really really good and I love how, you know, there's so many different blade shapes, so many different handle patterns. And I love that, you know, it's a it's a traditional knife that's done in a modern way. So he's taking, Ben, you know, the owner, he's taking the, the traditional patterns and making them modern with the modern materials, the build quality. And yeah, they're, they're just, they're done so well. And they look so damn good. Good looking knives. But this one in particular has a hollow ground, full hollow, I should say, a full hollow ground spear point blade. Beautiful spear point, too. Now, this one's a little bit different than the last spear point. The last spear point has, was a big belly spear point, which they're, they're, they're very different. So a big belly spear point is still going to be very a very versatile blade shape, but it gives you that extra belly, you know, for the type of cutting you'd want that, you know, that type of blade shape for. This one is more of a traditional spear point where it's more acute. So this one's definitely going to be more precision oriented where you're going to have a very, very nasty tip to, to do any type of picking, cutting, or utility cuts along with, you know, slicing and any other type of cutting you might want to do. Now, behind the edge thickness, I measured this at seven thousands behind the edge even when i moved up the blade quite a bit like a lot it was still at nine thousands behind the edge so insane geometry on these now the handle um i'm not a huge fan of but this is called the coffin shape i believe the pattern is called not a big fan of these little wings that come out right there. Just aesthetically, you know, it's not really pleasing to my eye personally. When I see it, it just kind of stands out as, you know, awkward. However, in hand, it's completely different. In hand, I don't notice it at all. My fingers go right around the little point right there and it comfortably sits in my hand. Even if I reverse grip it, same thing pinch grips all the grips basically i don't notice it so unlike other uh handle patterns or shapes where you will notice it big time like kind of like a sway back right in my opinion a sway back is more comfortable in a reverse grip than it is in a forward grip so this you you can see it so it's you know i can it's appealing to the eye or not appealing to the eye but in the hand it, it doesn't make a difference so i do appreciate that because you know it'd be one thing to to feel it you know during cutting and everything which i don't it's very ergonomic now the fit and finish as tight as you can get i love that they use big hardware t10 pivot t8 body screws the walk and talk let's talk about that so since it is more of a narrow spear pointish blade it doesn't have a lot hanging out of the handle so you do 
Uh, unlike you know maybe some of the other ones that that uh, the, the other Jack Wolf knives that you know you have quite a bit hanging out. This one it's a little bit tighter. However, it's still pretty easy to get to. Nice strong pull, very strong pull. Nice strong lockup. Well, not lockup, but when it's fully open. So the you got a half stop there. Getting past that half stop into the open position is nice and strong very strong pull the walk and talk is really nice great sound great walk and talk and you know, even though it is a little bit tighter to pull out, it's still really easy. I don't have to use the nail nick or anything. There's still plenty for me to pinch and pull. And, you know, it's a good size. It's a great size EDC knife, so it's not too small, not too big. I can get a full four-finger grip on it. Plenty of blade length to do basically whatever I need for light-duty tasks. And I love the packaging. You know, if you guys know the Jack Wolf knives, the packaging is amazing. Comes with awesome, awesome packaging. Makes you really feel really good about your purchase. But the slip. The slip is so good. I mean, it's great quality. I feel like this is the kind of leather I want on my work boots. It is great quality leather. Nice and thick. Nice and tight. And holds it nice and snug. You can see it's going to form to it really nicely. And just good quality leather all the way around. And, and you can really tell the stitching, everything about it. Now you can, they do have, there's some like aftermarket ones. You can check OCD for EDC's site. Um, there are some aftermarket ones that uh, have clips on them. So if you want to be able to take it in and out of your pocket without taking the slip out. Because when you have this clip, the slip will stay in place while you pull your knife in and out of the pocket. You can get one of those. So I will say I did find one flaw. So only one flaw. And out of all the knives I've had, I, I think I've only found one flaw out of all of them. So this is only one other one. And it is so minimal, so tiny, so nothing that it really doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't even be bringing it up. But there's a tiny, tiny little flaw in this carbon fiber now all of it looks perfect I, I scanned it really good as good as i could with my eyes but there's one little part and you might not be able to see it very well but there's like these lines going right here like that it almost looks like either some of the the fibers came out of the carbon fiber during finishing work or maybe the belt hit it or something i don't know um, it's going to be hard to pick up in the light. Oh, you can kind of see it right there. And that's very, very minimal. Those couple little spots. It's not voids, but it's, you know, something with the finishing. And I, noticing that is already, you know, nitpicking like crazy because it's carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is kind of known for that. You know, that's just something you kind of live with with carbon fiber. It's very difficult to work with carbon fiber and to get it out as well as they always seem to do. So that, that to me is nothing. I love it. Either way, it doesn't take away anything from the knife in my opinion. All in all, it's another badass jack wolf knives the jack wolf knives vampire now there are still some benny clips available so this is the largest one that they have done yet um same blade steel m390 clip point blade um big belly clip point and it is a lot larger or not a lot but it's larger than the other ones and this one's still a good size one too compared to some of the other ones but not as big as the benny clip but like I said, I will link everything I possibly can down in the description. And I, you know, I think a lot of people like these knives. I mean, these knives, um, I think they're going to be very popular, you know, as time goes on because they're just, they're done so well. You know, you, you feel good about it. You know, it feels like a good collector's piece. You know, when you carry it, it, you, it feels like you're carrying something of quality and also something that's, it's kind of, 
got some lineage to it or, you know, I, I don't know how to put it into words, but something that, you know, it just makes you feel good about it. But, um, but there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.